I wasn't expecting to be talking about the return of the legendary Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao in 2024, but rumors are heating up that we could see Pacquiao lace up the gloves one more time to take on current pound-for-pound -pound King Terence Bud Crawford. I know, I know. Hasn't Pacquiao been retired since 2021? Yes, he has. But according to his longtime trainer Justin Fortune, Pac-Man has that itch to fight again and could be ready to face Crawford in just eight weeks' time. This all started when Fortune did an interview claiming that the now 45-year-old Pacquiao has been secretly training and keeping himself in shape. Pacquiao hung up the gloves in 2021 on the heels of back-to-back -back losses against Yugas and Mayweather. But despite pushing mid-40s, Fortune insists Pac-Man is still a freak athlete capable of competing against elite competition. In fact, when asked about a potential Crawford superfight, Fortune stated, Manny has a 50% chance of winning because he's still a freak athlete, and it wouldn't take much to pull him into shape. Tell me if you've heard this before. But it seems reports of Pacquiao's demise in the ring have been greatly exaggerated. I mean, we are talking about one of the most gifted talents this sport has ever seen. Manny Pacquiao is the only fighter to capture world titles in eight weight classes. The man who carried legendary power that catapulted him up the divisions. At his blurring, fast, whirlwind, aggressive peak, many consider him one of the top two or three boxers ever, pound for pound. And what Pacquiao may have lost in youthful speed and reflexes at 45, Fortune insists he still has that devastating, God-given power. A power that shook far bigger men up like De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto. Power that could spell danger even for a skilled technician like Crawford. Now look, no one is expecting Pacquiao to be the tornado he was against Oscar or Ricky 10 plus years ago. Father time shows no mercy, even to ATGs. But according to Fortune, they wouldn't need a full-fledged training camp to prep Pac-Man, keep him healthy in camp, polish up the tools, and his talent could make up the gaps against Bud. Because despite closing in on 50 years old, Pacquiao's ability and experience cannot be taught, much less his mental makeup as an absolute dog inside that ring. Fortune said despite Pac-Man's long career spanning 26 years and hundreds of wars, the fire still burns hotter than ever to achieve more glory. Initially, the rumors had fans speculating if Pacquiao would chase old rival Mayweather for a rematch of their 2015 mega fight. Interest will always be there for Pac vs. PBF Part 2. It was the richest fight ever for a reason. But according to Fortune, Pac isn't chasing ghosts or past accomplishments. He wants fresh challenges, and Crawford represents just that. A perfect stylistic clash between perhaps the best from past versus present eras. When speaking on potential Pacquiao comeback opponents, Fortune stated explicitly, he's always fought the best, and I'm not saying Mayweather's not one of the best, but he's old now. I'd prefer to see Manny return against a top P4P guy like Crawford, not just take a tune-up fight. Fortune knows Pac wants the biggest, baddest dudes, not easy paydays. Enter Terence Bud Crawford, the current welterweight champion and P4P stalwart near the top of every credible list. At 36 years old, with an unblemished 37-0 record, Crawford has conquered three divisions, barely losing a round in the past decade. There may not be a smarter, more adaptable and technically lethal fighter out there today the quintessential boxer puncher and maestro in there. Unlike past Pacquiao opponents who wilted under his blazing speed and angles, Crawford possesses the next level skill to match along with fight-altering power in both hands and deadlier application. Crawford is the evolution of what already made Pacquiao an all-timer. Blended speed, pop, and IQ. If Pac-Man gets lured into a chess match, Crawford's precision counterpunching could expose his age. But Pac-Man might just have the hoodoo over Bud, the X-factor of explosiveness and shot selection that has terrorized much bigger names for 20-plus years. Both Fortune and Freddie Roach have questioned if Crawford has the experience or dog to overcome Pacquiao's still world-class attributes and intangibles when the heat turns up, something they think Crawford has yet to face truly. And the stats seem to match the eye test. At comparable stages of their career, Pacquiao has a far deeper resume of elite scalps on his mantle. 
Meanwhile, some question if Crawford has been protected too long in less dangerous fights. Still an amazing talent, but we just haven't seen him flash tested under fire like Pacquiao has for decades now. The crucible of the pack storm could expose flaws or crack that calm demeanor we've yet to see cracks in. Because say what you want about Manny, there is nobody more battle-tested than the Filipino great. He didn't just face the best, he sought out and conquered bigger, skilled men in their prime, like Oscar, Cotto, Hatton, and Barrera, to slowly cement his fame. Even beyond boxing years now, no moment will overwhelm Pac-Man. The mileage on the engine may show, but the chassis remains rock solid for hazardous conditions. That experience and composure gap is likely Pacquiao and Fortune's biggest trump card for an upset over Bud. Outlasting Crawford into deep waters that may exceed his comfort zone, while Pac-Man continues dropping nuclear bombs even fatigued. Simply put, we don't know Bud's survival mode because he hasn't had to show it yet. Meanwhile, Pacquiao lives for those moments when it's all or nothing. And again, even with Pac aged and diminished by boxing standards, this isn't a walkover for Crawford either. Based on footage leaked so far, Pacquiao remains as dangerous as ever. Peep his Instagram and tell me his trademark whirlwind speed power style isn't still a nightmare to contain. He's drilling the mitts like it's 2010, still pulling the trigger with shocking speed and pop that rivals guys 10 years younger. The verdict won't be fully revealed until Pac steps into sparring. But best believe Roach and Fortune will determine quickly if Pac still has the capability to hang at this level. If they give any indication the old Pac monster is still lurking under the hood for Crawford, trust you'll know because talks will heat up, and Crawford himself will likely start campaigning for the fight once word drops. Now there is a very real possibility the legendary Manny Pacquiao will put retirement on hold for one last super fight against the current pound-for-pound -pound ruler Terence Crawford later this year. His trainer insists Pacquiao is already training and could be fully prepped for Crawford in eight weeks. At 45 years old, time is assuredly against Pac-Man, but his talent and experience still give him a fighter's chance to shock the world one final time. How do you guys see this fantasy fight playing out? Does Pac-Man still have enough magic in the tank to overcome Prime Crawford? Or is Crawford's blend of skills, speed, and power just too much to contain, even for an ATG like Pacquiao? Tell us in the comments. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed today's update and are looking forward to Manny Pac's next move, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.